Hello friends and welcome to Kids Church Elementary. If you are in preschool, you're in luck. We have something for you. It's Kids Church Preschool. Go ahead and find that and you can click on that. For my elementary friends, I need you just to grab your Bible. We have our adventure Bible, but you guys can grab whatever Bible you have. Grab it and get ready for our lesson because it's going to be a good one today. Welcome back, friends. We are on our third week in February. Wonderful. I love it. I love I love me some February. I do, actually. Black History Month. It is. Which it is, is super amazing. And what are you guys learning in school? I'm sure oh, they're learning yeah. some very intriguing things. I'd be uh, curious. Definitely let us know. Yeah, we would love to hear. So we, uh, this whole month, are talking about kindness. Mm -hmm. How do we define kindness? Oh, yes. Okay. <laughs> Showing others that they are valuable by how you treat them. So it's not necessarily necessarily I can't really be kind without showing an action or doing something you know and kindness is definitely not a feeling because no. Jesus tells us to be kind he yes. doesn't say when it feels like Feel kind. It, you can be kind you know what I mean because yeah. sometimes we think that with love or kindness it's like oh when that person's loving to me then I'll love them back when that person's kind to me I'll be kind back. But that's not really what Jesus says. No, and it's funny because Jesus was facing a lot of that during his time. In that time frame, in his history, it was very like, it. they call it eye for an eye. Mm -hmm. You guys might have heard it before, where it's basically like, whatever you do to me, I get to do to you. Right. So like if, for example, this will be this will be a little crazy, you guys ready? If I steal Miss Bonnie's Bible, she then gets to steal my Bible. Well, and it kind of goes back also to the golden rule, yeah. which we've heard of, is to treat others the way you want to be treated. But Jesus took that and he turned it upside down and he said, no, that's not how we, as people who follow Jesus, are to act. He expects a little bit more of us because we're not called to be to be just average people. He, he created us for this bigger purpose. And he wants us to live that out. And so that's why that's why God sent Jesus so he could physically tell us, right? Sometimes we're a little we're a little slow to the game. And yeah. sometimes we need someone to like, you know, hit us over the head with it and say, like, do it. And he does it. He he says it very he does. He says it very point blank. And so he he says something pretty amazing. So we're gonna read it and then we're gonna talk about what it means. So everywhere Jesus went, of course we've said this before, there were crowds. Yes. Crowds and crowds of people. So one day, Jesus is sitting on a mountain, So and he's up high on the mountain, and all the crowds are down below, and he's yeah. teaching. He's telling them what the kingdom of God is like, what it's like to follow Jesus. Um, and his disciples came to him, and they began to talk, um, and he starts telling them. And so we want to read what he says. Yeah. I love this. Okay. So, and he's a really great storyteller. We talk oh about gosh. all the stories he tells and how he answers things for me. And... I really love it. So he goes, uh, we're going to go to the book of Matthew. So Matthew was one of Jesus' followers. Uh, it's in the New Testament and it's the first, first one in the so. New Testament. So you go into your table of contents, you can find the very first book in the New Testament. It says Matthew, and you go to that page number. I'm going there, we're going to begin 1051 in mine. So we're doing Matthew and then big five. Yeah, chapter five, so the big five. And then we're going to go to the little 41. That's verse 41. So this whole section of Matthew is, it's actually titled Sermon on the Mount. Yes, yes he literally is giving a sermon. He's giving a lesson while he's standing or oh, sitting on a mountain. Yeah, so. that's right. And, he's, and, and Ms. Bonnie said he, he followed, he had these big crowds that followed him. And he took advantage of that moment to say, hey, these are, this is the way that you guys live. This is how you're expected to live. Yeah, I, I love this. Okay, so it's 41. 41. Right? Okay. So it says, if anyone forces you to go one mile, go with them two miles. Okay, so for us, that seems kind of strange. We're yeah, like, you're like, I sometimes have to run a mile at school. Right. So does that mean I have to run two miles? So, no. So what the, what happened is, in, in Jesus' day, there was Roman soldiers. Rome controlled the land, made the roads. They, they were in charge of it all. And so part of the law was if a Roman soldier came up to you as a normal person mm -hmm. and said, here's my armor, my backpack, my food, whatever, I want you to carry it. By law, you had to carry it for one month. Didn't matter what you were doing. Yeah. You had to stop what you were doing and carry the stuff for one month. So he's saying, hey, you know, you know that rule that we all know of? He's saying, don't just do what's 
fairly minimal required or asked of you. But I, for someone who follows me, someone who, who, who believes my teachings and, and wants to receive that kindness and that joy from me, you gotta continue it on. And because Jesus doesn't want us to follow rules because they're rules. Mm -hmm. He wants us to follow an example of a lifestyle. Yeah. And that lifestyle is someone who, and we said this back, um, it may have been in January, but we, we're to love God and love others. Yeah. And, and we do that because, it, like you said earlier, of Jesus' great love for us. So he's saying, in loving others, it's not just a bare minimal. It's yeah. not just a little bit. It's kindness above and beyond. Don't just, you know, if, for example, like with your with your siblings, because we talked about this a little bit last week, as we yeah. want to be kind to our siblings and the people that are closest to us. It's not necessarily doing the bare minimum of like not being mean. Because showing right. kindness isn't just not being mean. Right. It's taking it a step further. Right. And and it's again, I have to remind us, it's not a feeling. Jesus didn't come and die on the cross because he's like, oh, this is going to feel good. This is going to be great. He did it out of a choice. And each day we have to choose mm -hmm. to be kind. Yeah. We have to choose to love people that maybe aren't difficult. Because I'm telling you, if someone came up to me and said, here, carry all this heavy stuff for a mile, I wouldn't be jumping up and down and going, oh, great. I'll do it for two. Yeah. You know? But it's. It's that love, and it, you know, I think kindness kind of boils down to love. It is. And, and love isn't necessarily always the most convenient thing. Mm -mm. It's not always the most fun thing. Kindness is kind of love and action. Mm -hmm. I mean, it really is. It really is. It, 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 and, and you see that every time Jesus spoke, every time he did something, you just see kindness coming off of him. It's almost like this barrier of kindness everywhere he yeah. went. I mean, it didn't matter what he would, was doing. He would stop and talk to someone. He would stop and heal someone. He was never too busy mm -hmm. because every day he chose to show us what kindness looked like, and that was an action. Mm -hmm. That was a, a process of mm -hmm. doing it every day, day in and day out. So. And what's really cool, my friends, is if you start now, it becomes easier. Yes. It's not necessarily something that we're like, oh, yeah, let's go. Let's go do that. But it, when you start doing it now, when you start working on it and you start practicing it, God makes it easier. It and, does. And, and, and you get more used to it. And once it starts becoming second nature, then you start going a little bit beyond that. Mm -hmm. And we have, we have friends sometimes who ask us, like, why, why are bad things in this world? And part of it is we get to, we get to be that change. Right. We are the kindness. We are... Uh, and I don't know if we've said this before, but we're Jesus' hands and feet in this world. Mm -hmm. It's not like God's going to come down and just go, change this, change that, change this. He says, no, I'm going to use you. Yeah. You get to make a change. You get to love people. You get to pick up trash in the world. Yeah. I mean, those are things that we should be doing. We're in charge of taking care of this planet. We're in charge of loving the people around us. Mm -hmm. And when we do that, it makes a difference. And so my friends, our question to you is have you ever received unexpected kindness? Has anyone ever mm. gone the extra mile for you? And how did that feel? Think about that. When someone did something extra special for you, I'm sure like me, because I'm thinking of a situation and it just kind of brings a smile to my face. If you take a step back, because you're like, oh my gosh. So if you feel that way, think about when you do it for someone else. Yeah. And remember, we all do this because Jesus did it first. Right. He showed us an unexpected kindness that that was beyond anything that we could ever do. And so we are constantly trying to just kind of get near it. Yeah, barely. Yeah. <laughs> um, all right. Uh, would you like to pray for us? Yeah, definitely pray okay, for us. Okay, great. Thank you. Dear Holy Father, thank you so much for this beautiful day. Thank you so much for my friends at home who are watching this. Um, we are just so thankful for them. We are so uh, just loving that they are watching and learning about kindness with us. Uh, Lord, I pray for our friends to take this message, take this lesson that, that you shared with us and that you put in this book so we can have it as a reminder to go that extra mile that when when 
one thing is expected of us, we go beyond the expectation because we know that when we do that, we show people just a glimpse of who you are. Uh, we can say that, that you give us the power and that we do this all because you show us kindness each and every day. Uh, we love you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. All right, reach out to us. We'd love to hear how you guys are doing kindness. If someone was kind to you, mm -hmm. send us a picture, send us an email. Uh, kids, K I D S, at FCCHB.com. And we'll see you guys in a few minutes in the application. Yes, sir. Right. Well, bye. Hey guys, it's Miss Allie. And it's Miss Bonnie. And today we are helping out at the drive through food pantry. And we have a mission for you guys at home. So during the month of February, we are doing a food drive. We are gonna send home a bag with you and you guys get to fill it up and then bring it back because all of the food you guys gather will be delivered by these wonderful people who are with us today and they're gonna give it to people who need it. So grab a bag from us or if you don't come to church in person, go ahead and look at fcchb.com and you'll find a link in the children's area to the list of food that they can bring in. Yeah. So definitely check it out and let's help out some good people. We can all do it together. All right, see ya. Bye guys. Hey friends, one of my favorite things to do is celebrate Jesus. So hop up on your feet, get ready, because we are going to dance, we're going to sing, and we're going to celebrate Jesus. His love will never quit. His love will never run away. Even when I get upset. Hi friends, we are back in our application. We are, and so Ms. Bonnie's gonna talk about an activity that you can do together, and then I will bring up some questions, and have no fear, because this is all in the description below. I, I thought you were gonna say, like, someone is here, have no fear, no. underdog is here. It's have no fear if you can't memorize everything that we possibly always say. 
I know it's all golden and wonderful. I'm beautiful. They but. memorize everything we say. Are you kidding? All right, so what you're going to do is you're going to play some tic-tac-toes with them. Oh, but it's going to be kindness tic-tac-toe. Tic -tac okay. So you're going to draw a tic-tac-toe board, and in each square, you're going to write someone who is in your family or someone you deal with a lot. Like I wrote in sister and teacher, and I'll write in classmate, and I'll write in my friend, maybe mm -hmm. the store clerk. And then what you're going to do is as you play tic-tac-toe, say I'll, I'll go in this corner over here of sister. I'll be an X in the sister corner. And then what I have to do to get that X there is I have to think of something kind to do for my sister. Ooh, so how would I be kind? I would encourage her. I would use my words and encourage her. So that would be it. So then the next person to go, whoever did O, would then have to think of something kind for that person, that person. in that square. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, so remember, kindness is, is going that extra mile, like we mentioned in the, in the lesson, and it's an action. So yes. think of something that you can do, and think about something that they're going to appreciate. It's not necessarily like what yes. you want. That is key. But what they want. Yeah, because we talked about that before with our words and stuff, mm -hmm. and how our words affect people, and how the Bible had said, that it's what edifies them. Yeah. So this kindness, that's a great point. It's not what, well, I think I'll do this. Well, will they think that that's kind or yeah. not? I had one person tell me it's like, you know, it's part of the golden rules, the platinum rules, treat others how they want to be treated. Oh, the, I like that. The platinum rule. Because the that's part of it. And, and Jesus is saying to love other people. And it's make sure that you do it in a way that they feel loved, not necessarily like how you would feel loved. You're like, you get to watch me play video games. <laughs> Uh, You're welcome. <laughs> that's not kind. That's not kind. That's not kind for anyone. Let's be honest. So, uh, why is it unexpected when someone is kinder than they have to be? Mm. Think about that. Answer. Talk about it. Uh, what about having basic manners, like saying please or holding the door open for someone? Is that being kinder than you have to be? Why or why not? Ooh, that's a great question. So, I, I mean, I think people may not do that anyway. Yeah, so, I can see it on both sides. Because, yes. I mean, I, no, I'll go into it a little bit. I, I was always trained as a child to do certain things, and mm -hmm. it was expected of me. So it's like a second nature thing. I don't think right. about it. And it's great, but it's also, it, am I being kind, or am I, am I just doing a reaction? I don't think that that would be the extra mile for you. It's definitely not. And, so, and oh, so that's a great point. For all of us, that extra mile is different. It really is because, like I said, like I got yelled at. To so saying please or open the door for you wouldn't be the extra mile. No, definitely not. But I, maybe for some of our friends, it would be. It definitely would be. And so it's different for each person. So always yeah. think about that. Maybe different people in your circle are going to have different answers. Mm, that's a good. That's a good point. Uh, challenge. So I'm challenging all of you to think of ways that you can be kinder than what is expected. Mm -hmm. So think of what is expected of you. So remember, we just talked about we have different expectations. So and use those examples while you're playing tic-tac-toe. Yeah. That's a great way to do it. So and like you said, everyone's going to have different answers. There, there are no right or wrong answers yeah. in this. Uh, how you show kindness, how you think someone wants to be yeah. have kindness given to them. There, there's no right or wrong answer. Mm -mm. So don't get, sometimes I think we get stuck in like, oh, I gotta do it the right way. It's, there's no, there is no right, right or wrong way. It's taking what you know is expected of you and, and, and taking it just a step further. Yeah, so, so reach out to us. We would love to hear how you guys are being kind, okay? How you're going that extra mile. Yeah, and what is the extra mile for you? Mm -hmm. We'd love to know what works for you guys. Like I said, I would expect it to open the door for people. And so some people weren't. So for them, if they opened the door, that would be their extra. Yeah. Mile. So what what is expected of you, and how are you going to go beyond that? Yeah. We'd love to hear. Reach out to us, okay? At kids, K I D S at F C C H B dot com. Okay. We'll see you next week. Yeah, okay. I think so. We'll see you guys next week. Bye. Bye.